All right, let's get this out of the way real quick. Today's video is sponsored, but just because it's a sponsored video, it doesn't mean that what I'm talking about today is trash because it definitely isn't. Just because it's a sponsored video, it doesn't mean that I'm trying to sell you on something that I do not believe in myself. I would never do that to you guys. I love you. What we're gonna talk about today is actually pretty great, especially for anybody that creates content. Artless just released a pretty significant update to their platform called Artless Max, and it's pretty, it's pretty good, pretty good stuff. Before it was just music and sound effects and now it's pretty much everything that a content creator could need all available under one roof. So of course you still get great royalty free music and sound effects. But now we have stock footage and actual useful plugins for your video editing platform of choice. We got really nice templates, LUTs, titles stuff to spice up your vertical video intros stuff for your logos also you get access to artless video editing platform called hitfilm so the music sound effects and stock footage you pretty much know what you're getting there and i already did a whole video on hitfilm so i'll leave a link to that if you want to check that out at the end of this video so today we're going to focus on the plugins and the templates which is probably most exciting part of this big update first up the plugins use the link in the description below and that'll take you over to the plugin download and once you download and install this artless plugin it's just going to automatically install all these incredible plugins onto whatever pretty much any video editing platform that you have on your computer final cut pro davinci resolve premiere pro and hit film i use davinci resolve and sometimes final cut pro and once i open up both platforms everything was already installed and ready to use and there is actually some useful stuff in here no bullshit i'm not just saying that because this is a sponsored video there is some actual useful stuff in here and in davinci everything runs incredibly smooth like impressively smooth like i had to email my rep back and be like hey things are running really smooth here you guys did an amazing job on this so if i go into my open effects here and i scroll all the way down you'll start to see some icons that say artless on them we have an artless zoom blur we have an artless channel mixer we have a channel swapper we have tone coloring we have cine style we have classic cine style we have hue colorize hue shift derez which looks like a vhs effect witness protection if you want to blur something out auto volume metrics clouds drop shadows grid picture in picture time code color gradient fill color film damage film grain scan lines color difference Illuminance key, remove background tool, invert alpha, auto light flares, gleam light flares, fire rain on glass effect, shatter, high pass sharpen, sharpen, unsharpen, cartoon, emboss, 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 probably emboss, find edges, threshold, and quad warp. And all of these tools have different customizations and different options within the effect itself. So we're obviously not going to be able to go through every single one of these today, but we'll go over a few that I checked out that I really like. So right here I have an amazing shot of a wedding I shot in Long Island City, New York. This background is just untouchable. That's it's a hell of a background right there. I had the opportunity to shoot there three times this season at the Revel in Long Island City and the views are just incredible from the rooftop. So if I wanna spice this clip up a little bit and make it look a little bit more cinematic, I have two options here. I have cine style and I have classic cine style, which I'm gonna use the classic today. We'll drag it right on top of our clip and right away in our effects tab, you see that there are a ton of options to toy with here. It's pretty cool. We have S curve for contrast. We have our exposure tab, saturation, defocus blur, we have a grain tab. We have control over our red, green, and blue channels, like complete control. A letterbox, which are the cinematic black bars on the top and the bottom of your screen. And a vignette option, just in that one little plugin. So right away, the first thing I'm gonna do is add a letterbox here. And this is pretty cool because if you pull this little slider to your left, you can go more towards a vertical situation. And if you go to the right, and you can get the cinematic bars on the top and bottom. So we'll leave it right there. And we also have an offset, which is cool. You could scroll up and down within those black bars. So we don't want to cut his head off too much. And we definitely don't want to cut off that view. Slide it down. Look at that. That looks great. We'll come up to the grain strength. And we will punch way in here so we can see our grain strength. We definitely want to turn this down just a little bit. Could add a little contrast if we want with the S-curve. A little saturation if we want. Turn it off, turn it on, off, on, 
looks pretty good on. All right, let's go down to the next one. We'll go to Hue Colorize. We'll add this in, and this is a great way to get a nice cinematic look. It might look a little crazy right now once we drop this on, but we're gonna make a few adjustments. Believe it or not, when you look at how a lot of films are color graded and something that's really filmic and professional looking, there aren't a ton of different colors usually in the shot, depending on the mood that the colorist and the producers are going for. Usually you get a very uniform looking image and this Hue Colorize tool can actually be used for that pretty fast. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is turn down the Hue Strength a lot and then you could actually play with the Hue Slider itself. So as you can see, now we kinda moved into that like greenish type Hue over the entire image and it actually looks pretty cinematic and you can keep going. Moving it over towards the blues, this is more of a cooler looking tone. Now it doesn't really match the mood because this is a happy, bright, warmer type day. So we're gonna keep on going. Bring it in here towards the orange and we'll bring the saturation down just a little bit. And now if we turn the hue colorize on and off, you'll see it kind of just uniformed everything a lot more and actually looks really good. I like it better with the effect turned on. So if we look at the image before we did anything, you have this shot. Turn on the cine style, you have this shot, turn on the colorize, and it kind of evens everything out a little bit more. Really digging that, took no time at all. So if we come over here to templates, you'll see we have a whole bunch of stuff to choose from. And it'll say it right here in the top right if it's compatible with Adobe or Final Cut Pro. If we come on the left here, we can narrow it down to our software of choice, 4K HD, wide, square, or vertical. And if we come over here to our categories, we have all different types of fun stuff. So let's start off with some intros. Maybe you're starting your new YouTube channel and you want a cool little intro at the beginning of it. This is a perfect spot to download a template to get you started. Podcast collage. Like, look, this is pretty cool. Like, if I saw this as somebody's intro to their podcast, I'd be like, that's pretty cool. And these are all customizable, so you can make changes within each template. Let's come over to infographics. These are always useful if you do paid work, maybe you have some clients. This is the vertical chart creator. I mean, look at these graphs. If I saw these in somebody's video, these would look super high quality, and I would assume that they probably paid somebody to do some work for them. And you could download it yourself using Artless Max. We even have some LUTs here, which I don't know why it says Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere Pro only. I mean, these are just cube files, so they should work with anything that has some kind of LUT loader. But yeah, I mean, I've actually tested these LUTs out and they look pretty good. And like I said before, we also have some options for vertical video, actually a lot. Vertical video is getting bigger and bigger. And Artless Max has a lot of tools here to enhance things like your stories, your reels, your TikToks. And for pricing, the Max bundles start at just $29.99 a month. If you were to go out and get a royalty-free music package somewhere, maybe get a sound effects add-on, and continue to get separate packages for everything that you get all under one roof with Artless Max, you'd be paying a whole lot more than $29.99. $29.99 a month. Believe that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you Artless for sponsoring today's video. Again, links down below if you want to check out Artless Max. I highly recommend it. Thumbs up, subscribe, hit the button, bells, everything, anything, whatever you guys want to do. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah!